Cloud seeding is a weather modification technique that aims to increase precipitation from clouds. And here's a step-by-step -step explanation of how it typically works. The big question, will it work in the national capital region if it's allowed to take place? Now, meteorologists identify clouds first up that are suitable for seeding. So there is a cloud selection process. These clouds must have sufficient moisture but lack the necessary conditions to produce significant precipitation like rain on their own. Now, common agents are used for seeding. This includes silver iodide that's often used because its structure mimics ice. Dry ice, in other words, solid carbon dioxide. When this sublimates, it cools the surrounding air, leading to the formation of ice crystals. Potassium iodide can also be used, or even calcium chloride. These are also chemicals which could be used to induce rainfall. Once these chemicals are selected, they are put onto dispensers on aircraft, and planes equipped with so-called burners or dispensers fly through or above a cloud layer to release the seeding agent. When the seeding agent is released, it acts as a nucleus around which water droplets can form or ice can crystallize, as you can see. You can see uh, water droplets forming uh, around in this nucleation process. As more ice crystals form larger water, water droplets, they grow by colliding with other droplets in the cloud. When they become heavy enough, they fall in the form of rainfall or snowfall. That depends really on the temperature that's there.